From the KCHS studio at Capitol High School. This is KCHS TV. Where, where excellence, excellence happens. Good Tuesday morning, Capitol. I'm Glenn Shore. And I'm Hannah Stone. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we have information on NHS, diplomas, and much more. KCHS TV starts now. Today is the annual blood drive. If you have signed up to donate blood, please remember to do the following to reduce the side effects during and after blood donation. 1. Eat a large, high-protein meal the morning before you donate, and continue to eat throughout the day before you donate. 2. Drink at least a liter of water the night before, and another liter the day you donate. 3. Bring a photo ID when you go to donate blood. And 4. Sign up on the Red Cross's Rapid Pass website to get in and out as quickly as possible. You will be called out of class 5 to 10 minutes before your scheduled donation time and given a pass back to class from a key club or a HOSA member. Hey Capital, come join us for an FCA meeting in room 111 this Friday during lunch. This club is open to anyone and you do not have to be in a sport. Come join us for some food, fellowship, and fun. There's a youth government meeting in room 251 at lunch. See you there. Did you know that FCCLA is collecting suitcases for kids in foster care? And now to a short video with more information. And if we raise, so if we get, like, we'll pick a number of how many, like, bags of luggage that we want. And if we get that many bags, we draw our raffle and we give them, and whoever wins the raffle. There are nearly 443,000 children in the U.S. foster care system. And in 2017, more than 690,000 children spent at least some time in the system. Well, why we're doing this project is because we want to make sure these kids are having a happy, healthy, safe, and transition. Instead of kind of like so we're trying to reinvent the name for them instead of them being known as trash children we want them just to be known as kids who are going to their new homes on average kids spent about three years in the system before adoption but nearly seven percent have spent five years or more and eleven percent of those children are put into group homes and shelters rather than the typical family setting and the whole point is that they're doing a service learning project and then they're going to compete with it at district state and hopefully nationals and so I'm just really excited about the energy that the whole FCCLA organization has this year. Singly those three kids that are working so hard to develop this project and make it fly. On average these children have moved four to six times and changed schools at least three times but for some kids they experience up to 15 changes. Saturday I can probably be here by 12:30. So our goal for this is to get 100 pieces of luggage and if we do that uh, we'll have a raffle at the end. So every piece of luggage that you bring in, it's one raffle ticket. So once we get 100 pieces of luggage, we'll draw the top three names and then you guys will come in and you'll be able to get a prize. Seniors, please check the list posted outside of the counseling office. This is the name that we will be printed on your diploma. The name on your diploma must be your legal name as spelled on your birth certificate. If there are any errors, please fill out any corrections on the green forms in the counseling office. List will be posted until March 16th. The next career talk is coming this Thursday. Ray's Littlefield, a professional photographer, will be talking about his path to his career. Find out what it, it takes to be a photographer and what the best steps are to make it in this field. This career talk will begin at 11.30 and end at 12.30. Lunch will be provided. Please sign up in the Career Center or email Mrs. Cups to get your name on the list. Only 30 seats are available for this talk. Attention all NHS members. The Capitol High School NHS will be having a meeting this Thursday, March 12th during lunch in the auditorium. This is a mandatory meeting for all Capitol NHS members, including new members. Please see Mr. Georgeson in the library or Mrs. Trunnell in room 125 if you have any questions. Once again, NHS will be having a meeting this Thursday, March 12th during lunch in the auditorium. And now to a quick PSA.
So I was giving a talk at a middle school recently and the lacrosse coach asked me if I wanted to ride up to the middle school because the parking lot was blocked. So I jumped on the van with the lacrosse team after practice and boy was that a mistake because it smelled so bad I can't even tell you. What's the story with BO and what is going on? Well, when you hit puberty, you may notice that your body smells and it's sort of a funky smell and this is the reason. The hormones that are responsible for all those other changes going on in your body also attack your sweat glands. It increases the sweat, the composition of your sweat changes, it mixes with bacteria, and you're sweating in places you've never sweat before, and it really starts to smell. So here's some tips for you, whether you play lacrosse or not. Here we go. What's the first thing you can do? Shower regularly. So, so important. Mom and dad may be nagging you and you hate to shower, but trust me, everyone will thank you. Get your body in the shower. Two, definitely use antiperspirant and deodorant. So important. It really makes a difference. Again, your teammates, your mom and dad will thank you. Also, wash your clothes regularly. I can't tell you how many guys, and I'm not sure whether it's a guy thing or not, do not wash their clothes regularly. When I was in college, I had friends that wore the same shirt, they wore the same socks, they wore even the same underwear over and over again. Don't let that be you. Make sure you wash your clothes. And while you're living home with mom and dad, little tip, ask them to do your laundry for you. So you wanna keep your body clean, you wanna use deodorant, you wanna wash your clothes regularly, and wear breathable fabrics, so important. 100% cotton lets you breathe, keeps out the odor. Things like spandex or other 100% polyester definitely traps odor. So if you're finding you have an issue with BO, change your fabrics. And that's it, these are the basics of BO and puberty. Best of luck. Today in history, in 1785, Thomas Jefferson was appointed Minister of France. Quote of the day, time is always right to do what is right. Martin Luther King Jr. Have a great day, Captain. Bring the bare necessities of life.